Start recording. Here we go. Hello. Hi. Don't want to be here. I got a new controller, actually. I ordered a pro controller, and it's pretty cool. What I actually want to do is, um, make story progress. I believe I should do this one first. Where I took a picture of a weird statue. How's the audio, by the way? Am I too loud? Is the video game too quiet? I always feel like I'm too loud and everything else is too quiet, even though I keep bumping the video game audio up and I keep turning myself down. It feels like nothing ever changes and I'm going crazy! Look out landing, Skyview Tower. Oh boy, I have to get used to a new controller feel again. Because this thing is, you know, traditional controller shaped. You're a bit too loud now that you mention it. Yeah, that was my worry. Here, let's see. How about this? Success! Hey, you! Get out of my face! Show Josh the picture you took of the statue. It matches up pretty well. That looks darn cool, too. This is it? This does my This does match what's on the fragment. It's a Vortigaunt. Thank you, Swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. I want to turn myself down directly, I think. Maybe turn the game up. Like, a little bit. There, hopefully that helps. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now, what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. I don't have a filter on the desktop. Do I? I do. Why is there a filter on the desktop audio? Get this out of here. I put a com for some reason I had a compressor on the desktop. That was weird. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Five zonite. Oh, baby. I feel like as if these contain some sort of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they may help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you'll find them useful. Whoa. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! <laughs> Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. You got it. We must get to that lab. What lab, Robbie? Good job getting the picture of that figure that Joshua was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. And I was thrilled to show you how to use the camera. Inspired, even. The perv had his even more potential functions, you know. Listen up, big update here. Your perv had can be equipped with a sensor that t t detects shrines. Come on, act more impressed. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. It'd be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Purpad Research Lab in Hatino Village. Purpad Research Lab? <laughs> That's right. It's a lab dedicated to enhancement of the Purpad, which Pur and I developed. 
Once I'm in that lab, you can join me there. I can further improve your perp pad, starting with the sensor. Find the lab in East Nakluda, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side is a Tenno village. A bit farther than that, you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting edge lab. But for now, Josh's investigations are my main priority. So until she gets further along, we will be staying here for a while. Okay. So I need to go to Nakluda, he said. You've returned to Lookout Landing with your picture of the statue. Joshua said you'd made a big discovery that could truly lead to an understanding with what the depths are. She's going to search through what others have found in the depths, hoping to find more slate fragments with these mysterious people. Ghostmen. I need a horse. These are very pink horses. What the heck? By God. They've learned how wheels work. Also, I just remembered I never talked to this guy. Yo. Sorry I didn't greet you properly when you first arrived here, Link. It's just so relieved to see you. My name is Scorpius. Been charged with managing Lookout Landon. If you have any questions about the place and he at all, come right to me. I'll answer as best I can. Ah. Now, please allow me to open the emergency shelter. Eventually. Here we go. Hey, it's me. Open up. Oh, that was easy. Oh, my God. Da, da, da. Ah. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. If we're going to make yourself at home in our vault, use any equipment you want. Do, 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 Look at all these people. Oh my god, I've needed to talk to you for so long. Give me power. I need more hearts. Yes! Urge a little of the evil. Lovely. Very cool. Now I have six hearts. Going forth and bringing peace. When the world are you? Look at all this dust. Oh. Hey, I know that face. And any face I know is a face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours to see use as you see fit. Mm. Don't you dare gonna make a mess of this place and kicking up dust. Spend so much time cleaning in here and there's still endless amounts of dust. Mm. Where does all this dust even come from anyway? Do you ever actually remove it? Mmm, very interesting. Um. Wordsworth. Now that's a name. It's the same Hyrulean script. Yet it's so different from our modern modern language. Still have a lot to learn. Hmm? Oh my god, now that's a looker. That is one hell of a chin you got there. Don't tell me, based on your statue, physique, and distinctive right arm. You must be Link, am I right? For he's told me so much about you. You can't even see my arm. I guess you can see that. I'm Wordsworth. My research specialty is ancient Hyrulean. Hmm. My ancient Hyrulean, I don't mean the text found in the ring ruins, but something different. What we call the language used at the time of Hyrule's founding. Our modern language is built on that foundation. Hmm. Three, these books are here are written in that ancient tongue. They'd look like gibberish to your average Hyrulean. Curious about ancient Hyrulean? I don't have anything to show you as things stand now. Hmm. But I'm sure I'll someday have results posted. And ready for all to see at the lab in Kakariko Village. I want to learn more. Ever watch Nickelodeon as a kid? I did. A lot. 
How are you, Diego Lorente, this fine evening? Oh, hey, look, it's Anime Zelda. Read the Zonai survey team's three big ideas. Surveying shrines. The mysterious ruins that appear due to the upheaval. With strange dome-like protrusions we're calling shrines. They're believed to be from the Zonai civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. When observing shrines as well as fallen ruins, take note of their shape, the sky above, and the surrounding environment. Chasms? Large holes appeared all over the world after the upheaval. They release gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. If the effects of gloom are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm immediately. Before entering any chasm, be sure to ask permission from Joshua, the leader of the chasm surveys. What about our purpose? We of the Zonai survey team were founded and tasked by Princess Zelda to study ruins and ancient documents. Through the lens of archaeological understanding, it is her hope that we will uncover the deep history of Hyrule. Due to the upheaval, many ruins from the Zonai civilization came crashing down from the sky. We uh, have known little of the Zonai, but we may now have evidence that their culture once flourished in the sky above. Our chief executive is Toro, the first individual in the world with a, to find a clue to deciphering Zonai scripts. Current surveys are fully focused on learning more about the Zonai civilization. Research results are to be shared out to specialists at the base in Kakariko Village. Neat. So they're nerds. Oh my god, cooking. What are you doing? He's actually got armor. Oh, oh hey, you say you link? the nose down so I don't know what's been happening around me half the time this is pretty involved so I'm gonna keep sitting here while I wrench on this uh. might have heard but when the upheaval happened all of the weapons decayed poured so much energy into trying to fix them but it's been no use what do you mean decayed uh. yeah just before the upheaval bloom began pouring out of the ground it clung to the weapons pulsing as if alive we watched as the weapon weapons rotted to pieces right before our eyes. Uh... It was all pretty wild, and I don't understand how it happened. At a time when Hyrule Castle can float, given up trying to make sen sense of most things. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. In case nobody's mentioned yet, you're welcome to the weapons over there. So they probably won't be much use to you since they're, you guessed it, decayed. I'll take them, though. Gone! Please read it on SCP-3636. Is that about Nickel Nickelodeon? Ooh, a map. The Gerudo Highlands. The world's greatest jukebox magic infects the whole world. I, I will take a look. I'm kind of falling out with SCP and Backroom's readings. But there's... I, I, I'll, I'll take a look and I might. But I cannot promise anything, Diego. Lorente. Is it raining? It is. Good thing this is here. The sewers. What about this map? You look like a nerd. Hmm? Oh, it's you, Link. Pardon me for being lost in my work here. This map tends to get all of my attention. You interested in the different peoples of Hyrule and where they live? That's my entire field of study. When I'm out on a deployment with the Monster Control crew, I spend hours poring over our maps. What's your honest opinion on who would win in a fight with Slenderman or Bigfoot? Slenderman. Bigfoot's just like a just like a big guy with hair. Slenderman is like 
an eldritch demon, Slenderman wins. As such, I'm the most knowledgeable in Lookout Landing about Hyrule's various peoples and their towns and villages. It's various yeah. peoples? Aside from us Hylians, there are four other peoples here in Hyrule. The Rito, the Gorons, the Zora, and the Gerudo. Each live in a different area and have their own unique traits, whether it's soaring the sky or feasting on rocks. Hmm. We Hylians also live in villages that reflect our unique cultures. The Sheik are renowned for their wisdom. In fact, our most prolific researchers are among them. Among us! You ever watch the Mandela catalogs? Yes or no? I watched... I think I watched up to the end of volume one. I think where it was the two guys that went to the house. And that's basically where I stopped. Fantastic, though. It was fantastic work. The leader of Lookout Landing, Pura, is from the Sheikah tribe. Towns and villages. Hyrule has eight major places that its various people call home. <gasps> Geography class. Did you hear the news about Queen Elizabeth dying like last year? Yep. The queen is dead and now there's a king. The gut landing is located here in central Hyrule. Up northwest of here, there's Rito Village in Hebra. Then there's Gerudo Town. That's located to the southwest in the Gerudo region. You'll find Goron City to the northeast in Elden. Travel a bit farther east, and you'll come across Terry Town in Akala. Not too far from there is Zora's Domain. That's within the Laneru region. Continuing into the southeast, I rule, you'll come across a cluster of Hylian villages. These are within an area called Nekluda. Within that cluster, you'll find Kakariko Village, where the Sheikah live. I hear the village leader is quite lovely. You're singing a tranquil spot, Hateno Village is worth a visit. I also hear it's become Hyrule's center of fashion. Finally, there's Luralin Village. It's a wonderful getaway destination. That's in Farron, though. Many of the aforementioned towns and villages have been deeply affected by the upheaval. If removing even a fraction of the monsters helps soothe the peoples of Hyrule, then that's what we'll do. Our monster control crew is on patrol each day, gathering information from everyone, everywhere. What about you? Oh. I work with the monster control crew. We're tasked with protecting, protecting everyone from monsters. There's been an uptick in their population since the upheaval. But I'm not really the most skilled in combat. So instead, I use my knowledge of the areas to help determine where we should make deployments. Okay. Aww. Been an increase in the number of unfamiliar monsters since the upheaval as well. Be careful of out there. I'll be careful. You're reading news? The day in the Lucky Clover Gazette. Serious shines appear all over the world overnight. Shrines appear everywhere due to shifts caused by the upheaval. For as their leader, the Zonai survey team begins thorough investigations the world over. Huh. Guess this paper's a little old. <laughs> a little old. I would really like to know how long the, like, how old the upheaval is. Long enough for Link's hair to grow. And this boy's hair never grows. Alright, I need two items. I don't want to use a diamond on a basic sword. I got a couple construct horns. Put that on my spear. Becomes a soldier spear. And put this on my sword. Look at that. Very cute little soldier reaper neato all right 
the time being, I want to head... Oh, actually, there's a setting I learned existed that I want to activate Lock mini map to the north. Now the mini map will always point north, regardless of where I'm pointing. So it's easier to orientate myself. We need to head to Hebra. To do that, we're going to need a horse. Haunts must be acquired. You ever watch Jontron videos? I used to. But then it came out that he's kind of a kind of a not great dude. So, in the, in the kind of way that makes me not enjoy watching him. So no, I do no. I no longer watch his videos. Hmm. Excuse me, I was not being suspicious. Get back here. You ever watch Man High Bread? I do not know who that is, so I'm assuming no. Horsey, come back. You can blame it all on me. here how do i do it nope not like that there it is <laughs> she'll jump Yeehaw. wait come back here blueberry That'll be your name. You've been trapped. <laughs> That's an elf from horse. You good? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Would win in a fight, James Bond or a doctor from Doctor Who versus Sherlock Holmes. Battle takes place in London, England. You, you mean James Bond or the Doctor from Doctor Who? I mean, the Doctor, James Bond kind of doesn't stand a chance. Ho, ho. This is our new horse. Big rock. I need to take you into town. I think the guy up here acts as a stable for the town. Oh my god! You're so cool! I want to talk to this guy. I think you've caused quite a stir since your arrival here. <laughs> People do fuss, don't they? This is your first visit. Talk to the soldier. Are you helping to register a horse? You have to hold your horses a while longer. If you register a wild horse as your own, you can call that horse to you at a stable whenever you please. Remember Wow Lay's potato chips in 1998? I do not remember Wow Lay's potato chips, but I remember regular Lay's potato chips. There's also barbecue, and there's also ruffles, which has cheddar sour cream. And also there's sour cream and onion, and also, uh pickle flavored potato chips which is weird at bigger roadside stables not only can you register horses but you can also stay the night didn't have room to build something that fancy here but i didn't want to i did want a place that i could take care of horses properly which is why carson from muds and construction is finally build us a mini stable once it's finished we will be able to register board and take out horses just like you would at any other stable okay Elden Hebra is getting intense. 
You having trouble? You ever heard about the ancient astronaut theory? Uh, I'm guessing you mean that like the, the conspiracy that like aliens came to Earth and like built stuff? I mean, I've heard of it, but <laughs> it's not exactly a compelling story. Sorry, I'm a bit busy with work right now. Link? Oh, wow, what a relief. I'm seriously worried about you. Where have you been anyway? I don't know who you are because I've never done Terrytown. Uh, sorry for the excitement. I'm just happy you're back. And sorting out whether or not I can build a mini stable in Lookout Landing. Lester's coming to take care for the horses, so help him out a lot if you had a proper stable. This project would likely take me a while to complete. But once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. Love my horse a little bit. Stay right here. What will you name the horse? Well, the first obvious name is Blueberry. But I don't know if I'll actually keep that. Nailed it. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, God! <laughs> Mega Mind? Oh, that's a good one. What about Juan? Juan Berries. Hello, some idiot. That's not insult, it's just his name. Juan could be a good name. Name him. Well, I was going to say we could name him Roadkill after the uh, choo choo that he ran over, but it doesn't seem like he does damage. You ever like Spider Man 3 from 2007? I was actually ambivalent about Spider Man 3. I know other people were far more mad about it than I was. Sort. Do I have apples? I don't. I'll just have to rely on my good old fashioned patting him on the back technique. Mega Mind's a better name. We might go with Mega Mind then. I was just going to go like Blueberry or like. Count Chocula. <laughs> Despite him not being a brown or chocolate horse. I actually wanted a brown horse. Because I wanted to name it I wanted to name it Milk Dud. It was the name of our horse from Breath of the Wild a few years ago. Not that I ever used Milk Dud, but I but I had him. I think I've already been here. Yeah. Oh my god, lizards! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Off we go! <laughs> Hebra word! Towards plot! Ho ho! Ho ho! Just keep loving the horse. Ignore the fire fruit. Ignore the grenade. Oh my god, that guy's got hands. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's this dummy. Chill, chill. All right, he's coming for us. I got to deal with that. Dealt with. Oh my god! Uh... Take... Amber Spear! Why aren't you hitting... Link! Thank you! Oh my god! 
You almost got me killed there, Link. This guy, I need to prop his sign up. Hmm. Oops. Come on, buttons. Wait a minute. Wait, where'd my horse go? Horse? Oh, there he is. Okay. We'll go get him in just a moment. Oh, come on. You know better. Get off! Catch. Right there. Oh boy, Blood Moon's coming. Get the horse, get the horse! Mega Mind! Okay, I need to make sure I'm on you so that you do not de despawn because... I think this counts as a reset and I don't want you to die. Monkus. Witness the... the blood oh, hey, different lines. Upon the, land. the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Oh, it like shortens the cutscene. That's cool. What's your favorite urban legend? Uh, maybe the one from Japan with the toilet ghost that eats your butt. That one's pretty good. Thanks for your help early. I'm putting President Hudson here too. Let go, let it go. He's standing. It's just that easy, sir. Come here. I want to talk to you from my horse. Who can't... He can't get through the gap. Okay, there we go. Oops. Is that an actual urban legend? Yeah, Toilet, ha uh, toilet Hanako. They made an anime about it. How's the president standing? I love this guy's face. You like analog horror? I do. Big fan of, um... What's it called? Gemini Home Entertainment? Like Gemini a lot. Uh... Was really into Mandela Catalog there for a little bit. And also, like... Uh, the monument series, a li like kinda. Secure the sign. Here's your sign. You bet. Okay, there's Mega Mind. You better not have killed my horse. Gemini is the best one. It's fantastic. Uh, the creator actually started a different series on his second channel that I, I need to check out. Well, let's take this with my thanks. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know the song and dance. This is like the th fourth time we've done this, buddy. Ah. Give me a bomb flower. Sick. Yep. Green, do you like Eminem the Rapper? Me? I... Yes. <laughs> Uh oh. oh. Yes, I, I know the terrain that the the terrain is scary, Mega Mind, but we have to move. This world is scary. Ah. 
Sorry for bashing your head into the wall. But there's an ever mean over here. I prefer, I prefer M&Ms more. True. Better than Skittles. They crush the lizards underneath the log. And you I saw and I want to see. Traveler's sword. Maybe later. Megamind, come here. Come over here and stand. Stand next to this while I go explore the well. Where like Casey Spice, Caven Spacey Matilda scandal happened. Oh my God! Well, I mean, I don't know much about it because I, I'm, I barely know who Kevin Stacy is, and I don't know what he did. But I vaguely remember being a bad thing. You were like Drake Bell. I'm, I am going to assume you're asking that if I like Drake Bell and not insulting me. And the answer is no. I do not like Drake Bell. <laughs> oh, a glowing cave fish. A luminous fish that lives in dark caves. When consumed, it makes my body glow. Like, like, jump scare. Truly effective. These things are freaky. I am going to burn him to death. Open wide. Oh, I should not use my axe. I said beat him to death with, a, with an arm holding another arm. I love Lake Lakes. I love that they're included. Roxel. So far, it seems like everything from Breath of the Wild monster-wise is here, except for guardians and, and stuff like that. And I haven't seen a whiz robe. But I'm assuming they're in the game. Give him a slapper. Oh. Uh. Hit him with the thick stick bones. Horrid creature. Free Amber. Woo! I don't need salt. Imagine doing actual cooking. Imagine interacting with the mechanics of the video game. Couldn't be me. It'll never be me. All I do is pick bomb flowers. All right, well, that was a cute little well. Well, well, well. Well, anyway. Yeet! Hello! Come on, Megamind. Ooh, shrine. You think if I go in the shrine, Megamind will die? How do I get up? Do I have to climb? I kind of don't want to go in there because I think my horse will die if I do. Alright, I'm gonna... Put a little... Thing right here. I'll come back for that. We need to find a stable. So we can actually actually register this lad. Am I on the road that went across here? Oh, there it is. That's a Hinox. Well. 
I'm sure I can take him. I beat up a big frog. I'm sure this guy can't be any harder. Another well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Stay right there. I've got more spelunking to do. Spelunky! Ooh. Three pumpkins. Fortified pumpkin. Extremely tough pumpkin raised for food. Makes defense. Fear me, lizard. This, this well proved more comfortable than I expected. Not too hot, not too cold. Cozy, really, for a well. And no need for heat-resistant chilly ingredients or cold-resistant warm ones. Cooked for pleasure instead of survival. For a time, I'd considered tilling the soil in here, living off the land until the end of my days. But times have changed. The upheaval formed a myriad of new caves. Consider my curiosity peaked. Unexplored lands are a veritable buffet of cooking materials, and I, Ori Tamu, Ori Tamu, Tamu, intend to dig in. That is an extremely Finnish name. If you seek fortune, keep moving. Chef Ori Tamu, Master of Cuisine. Nido. So we need to look out for Ori Ta Ori Tamu. Maybe they'll make us some food. Oh my goodness! Lincoln stops stop subsisting off of toasty mushrooms. Is all I feed him. I'm too lazy to cook. All right, this guy. Ooh, Toasty Hylian Shroom. Oh boy. I do believe I've messed up. Why, hello! Excuse you! Get the big guns! Yes! Kick his ass! Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> no! This is your problem now. God, I need new weapons. You ain't nothing! <laughs> nothing compared to a frox. Travelers claim more. Basic two ended sword once wielded by aspiring adventurers. This decay no longer cuts well, but can still knock a shield right out of enemy's hands. Neat. One second. I'll be right back. It was nothing. We are okay. Uh, he exploded into pumpkins! An ox tough nail, as tough as plate armor. This item increases an arrow's attack power when attached to it. An ox horn, a horn wrapped in spiked wood. 
Attach it to a weapon, yada yada yada. Palm fruit. Fruit from palm trees that grow near the ocean. Doesn't offer any special effects, but it is good for you. Mega mind? I beat the horror. I beat, I beat the Hinox. Hinox would drop its eye, but nah, here's its toenail. And apparently it's an arrow item. Mega mind. Ooh, a bloopy. An actual bloopy. Mega mind. Where did the horse go? Oh, there he is. Ooh. Hold the Skyrim there, buddy. Let's get you to the stable. It's right over the bridge. I saw it on the top of the hill as we were fighting the Hinogs. I keep thinking about saying it and I can't tell if I've actually said it yet or not because of my immense distractibility. But I can't be the only person that does, that thinks that the uh, the new Blin horns are kind of goofy looking, right? Ooh, a cave and there's people looking into it like I don't dislike the designs of the horns themselves but they just look goofy on like a on like the creature what in the world is this a Sheikah oh hi the new serene stable hey a dog the black dog were there always different colors of dog Oh, wow, I bring a horse. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse related. We also double as an inn. Hmm, it seems you're not a member yet. Ah. Stable uses a stable association's membership system, so you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask for your name? My name Link. Ah. Link, all right, Mr. Link. There. You're all signed up. Now, would you like me to tell you about the stable system? Sure. Oh. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us, and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You have come across wild horses during your travels. Ah. You catch one and ride it here to register it. It will become your horse companion. The very blue horse. There's a limit to how many horses you can board, but you're able to swap them in and out as you please. Once again, welcome to our stable. Get your wild horse and bring it here. You can register it. If you want to lodge with us, please visit the counter inside. How can I help you? My horse. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. Zero strength. What amazing speed and stamina. Yeah. Normally when you register a horse. Normally when you register a horse. We charge 20 rupees, but... We've got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your first horse for free. Well, then I'll move on to the registration process. First, please enter a name for your horse. His name... Megamind. PRESENTATION! Megamind is finally saved true. Now I can go in, into the the shrine without feeling like he's going to die. No, uh, t uh, was back B. There we go. Do you want to name this horse Megamind? Yes. Oh. Name registered. You want to take it with you or board it? Take him with me. Ah. Oh my God. They got him a nice blue saddle and all that. That concludes the registration process. Mm. Speaking of which, you know about whistling. Oh, wait, no, it's a horse, so. Like that? You get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it'll come running. Neat. Because your horse isn't magic. Can't hear you for too far away, so do keep that in mind. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. Oh my god. They have a loyalty rewards card. Aww. That's right, it's a reward system. You can use its stables. 
In short, every time you use the service, you get points. It's a rewards card. Awesome! No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging, for lodging there. Registering a horse? Stuff like that. Because you used New Serene Stable for the first time and registered a horse with us, you get two pony points. Neat. Save up points, stir in a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter over there. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other information. All right. Come back again anytime. I'll be back. Oh my god, it's the lad. Stay right here. I was going to call him Blueberry because that's what I was going to name him. Name him. Stay right there, Mega Mind. Hi, hi, coming by. Oh my god, it's the ripped Chad himself. Hey there, you fellow traveler on the journey of life. It's me, Beetle. If you forget, my Beetle Shit Pack is right here to remind you. In this topsy turvy world, there's only one direction to go forward so when i travel it's forward all the way and sell you bugs of the highest quality and if you need anything else on your life journey i can sell you that too shoot on rupees don't worry i'll buy anything you don't want weighing you down <laughs> what better way to lighten the lighten up than to sell your rocks gemstones in particular fetch a high price well well what will it be what do you have buddy arrows i actually kind of need them I will purchase your arrows. Wow! All of them? Yeah. It'll be 120 rupees. Now I'm broke. Thanks for business. Need anything else? Nope. <laughs> Thank you. I look forward to your next visit. Keep more arrows in stock, buddy. Also, we have to walk into this shrine's hole. Sinakawak Shrine. That sounds like a Pokemon fusion character. Between Marowak and... I... I don't know any Pokemon that starts with S-I-N. <laughs> Pokemon fusion, baby. An uplifting device. Hmm... Oh, hot air balloons. Sick. Press the wrong button. Now my arrow is burning. Why do I always do this to me? Hey, come here. Ascend. Old. I have grabbed the balloon. It comes with me. Me. Now, what am I doing here? Oh, hey, a button. It's just that easy. Oh, boy. So that's a ball down there. And there's probably... A hole. Yep. Hole right there. Two holes, in fact. Oh my goodness. Actually, there's... A huge ball right here. What are these, torches? Don't eat that! Alright, so... Put you on that. 
Attach you to the side. And now. Attach. I'm going to do some super stuff. You're going to see some level five physics going on here. Patch. Patch it. Somewhere. Thank you. And now. Flame emitter, baby. I'm going to make this ball spit fire. Maybe. <laughs> uh, let me get that. Your face back up. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Science. Da Vinci would be proud of this creation. Da Vinci wishes. Da Vinci ain't got nothing. <laughs> I'm okay. Solve every puzzle at once. Mega mind. My brain is big and huge, and also I love the blue boy. And ironically, Mega Mind is an amazing movie. More people should watch it. I'm glad it's getting more respect. I remember watching that when I was growing up, and I was like, this movie's amazing! What's in the treasure chest? An opal! Wow, it's a good thing I didn't put in any effort to get that. There's a full heal. Wait, why did I do that? I'm about... I'm about to complete the shrine. I'm about to have full heal. Whatever. Link was just kind of hungry. <laughs> Nothing back here. Nope. Nah, -uh, nope, sir. High five. That's three. Could use a fourth. I wonder if horses can actually die. Watch as that would be the deciding factor during the final boss. What being having a blue horse? Or being blue. What are you reading, Doffy? Let's see. It's in this issue of the Lucky Clover Gazette. Raising temperatures bring feathery shivers to the Rito. Rito Village is facing a food shortage as cold winds make travel to the village dangerous for resident and visitor alike. That's awful. Sounds like anyone trying to get to Rito Village needs to prepare themselves for harsh freezing, freezing weather. The healing. Oh, I'm sure have missing that what that steak. I'm sure I will lose via, uh, I will lose on account of one and a half hearts. It's going to happen. That's how it goes. Mm. So much to read in these newspapers. Any other stories? Blood moon brings dangerous nights. Be wary, dear readers. On nights where a blood moon rises, so do two monsters that had been defeated. Mm. Reminds me of that researcher who was studying the blood moon. They really excited to visit a monster fort and examine the relationship between the monsters and the blood moon. Hope they're doing okay. Don't know if they're able to hold their own in a fight. How much to read in these newspapers? Mm. Strange to think that I can word, learn about world affairs just by reading the paper. Those magnificent geniuses at the Lucky Clover Gazette. Future. Future. I'll come back to this. Yeehaw. I'm gonna go get that. I'm gonna go get that shrine. What other games do you like playing besides Zelda games? Since I know it's your Zelda fan. 
Well, I've been on a bit of a Zelda kick uh, for obvious reasons because this game was coming out. So I was like, I'll play like all the Zelda. I'll play as much Zelda as I can. Um, I like strategy games, specifically grand strategy games like uh, the games that Paradox makes. I'm a big fan of Victoria 3 and 2. But I'm also a big fan of... That's a tree. A big fan of Victoria 3. Unfortunately, I cannot stream it because this computer is weak. Like Hearts of Iron, Europa, all that, Stellaris, all that good stuff. Uh, like Dwarf Fortress and Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. So I like dumb ASCII games. Uh, I like horror games. Specifically, like, shooter horrors. My favorite horror game of all time is Cry of Fear. And I'd probably like Normal Fear. Ishadag Shrine. The stick is immortal. I am saving up to get a new computer. And once I do, I intend to be playing more horror games and the like. Horror? That's a massive surprise. I know, right? Who would have thought someone that spent the past f four years reading SCPs likes horror? Who would have thought? Oh my god, I can't grab the treasure chest. Well. Only one thing to do. Hold. Where's my flint? Where's my flint? <laughs> but, um... I'm worried because it says no worries. I have... I have no worries. <laughs> well, that did not do what I was hoping it would do. Which is create enough draft. Where's your flint? I found it! It didn't do what I wanted it to. That's okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. I like RPGs. Uh, I like MMOs. I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy XIV. I like WoW, I just refuse to play it. Uh, mostly because I don't want to have two subscriptions at the same time. Come on. Get up there. Yeah. I like JRPs in general, though, like the regular Final Fantasies and all that. Spiky Club 9. I don't want that, if I'm being honest. RPG Maker games, not actual RPG games, like To the Moon, Ib. I like those. I've actually been meaning to replay To the Moon and Finding Paradise at some point. And also there's a new Rockwin game coming out, Lore Shigihara. Also, hi one though, how are you doing? This fine day. A windy device. <laughs> That's what I call my butt. <laughs> the gun or the genre? Why not both? Who doesn't like... Was it Army of Two? Who doesn't like Army of Two? Wait, really? Yeah. To the Moon was the first video game that made me cry. And also, yes, Laura Shigihara did make a new... Is, I don't know if it's out yet, but she is making a new game. It's called Mr. Saito. It's about the... Uh, as far as I can tell, it's about the uh, the weird worm dogs from Rockwin. Make a boat, make a boat. Get on the boat! Yeehaw! 
Yeehaw. Or no! I refuse. Get back here. Go. There you go. I've also been rediscovering Star Wars, so I, I might start playing Star Wars games as well. I feel like my game taste is opposite from everybody. I like fast-paced games like Pizza Tower, Hi-Fi Rush, my Hotline Miami. I wouldn't say that's opposite from everybody. I mean, Hotline Miami is fucking sick. I don't know anything about Pizza, pizza Tower, so I can tell you. And Hi-Fi Rush is apparently like one of the best rhythm games right now. Like those get like those games are all pretty highly rated, aren't they? Why don't you make a documentary about the lifespan of head head crabs from Half Life? I imagine it'd be a simple thing to answer, but I would like to see them turn it into an actual like hour and a half full length series on how long a head crab lives. Wait a minute. Get down from there. I see. I know my answer. We're gonna hold like this for a little bit. <clears throat> I like some rhythm games. Uh, it's kind of hard for me now because I'm out of practice and also uh, out of shape. But I really liked da uh, Dance Dance Revolution. I played it on the PS2. Um, I, would, I, would, I don't think I was as good as like competitive, but I was decent enough at it. Did not feel like I was terrible. Learn to combine, combine your powers. Also a weird genre that I like. Warriors games, also known as Muso games. I like Dynasty Warriors, like Samurai Warriors. My go to go to rhythm game would be Osu. I tried Osu. I know it's very good, but like I couldn't wrap my my brain around it. Also, I have terrible like hands. So I got baby hands. Hey, there's number 4. That was a new song. Hmm, I wonder if they make a new song every time you talk to them. Come on, you down there? Ooh. Bro isn't able to hold an atom in his hands. Is too small. Bro, I got quark hands. I'm a quarked up white boy with these hands. Is that a relevant joke? Is that a funny? Is that a ha, ha See, it's a good thing I decided to go to the stable. Because it seems like Megamind has despawned because of the cell change. Megamind! He's over there! Where's over th there? he is! Hey, 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 hey! Just pulled an Assassin's Creed. Stabbed my horse right in the back. Oh no! Sorry, it was reflex. I also like, um... Crazy stuff like um a game that's recently got a lot of attention that i'm really happy it is but i i want to stream but i'm literally too much of a coward to do it is fear and hunger <laughs> it's got a lot of attention recently 
and it makes me very happy but I am too much of a coward to play that video game on stream although apparently the original has a sensor now where it replaces like a lot of the a lot of the nudity and stuff with like pine cones so maybe I'll stream that you should do it there is actual sexual like sexual assault in those video games it is no joke to stream that one backrooms game again i actually talked about that near the beginning of of this stream um where i wanted that to be the first game i streamed whenever i started on youtube again but the computer that i have cannot play that video game anymore also how's the audio i've noticed the video game getting up into the yellow which is generally way higher than i like it let me know if the game gets too loud who are you gladys Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't like where this is going. These bubble frog creatures are supposed to live in caves, eh? <gasps> ah! Don't scare me like that. My poor heart can't take it. Oh. Eh? You have a chance looking for bubble frogs too. Ah. ah, I knew it. They must have asked you too. Supposedly, there are, cre there are creatures called bubble frogs that live in caves. They're bluish and whitish and stick to walls. Odd stuff. You know what else is bluish and whitish and sticks to walls? <laughs> I'm on halfway and it's fine to me. Uh, you mean for graphics? I turned it down to minimum. Had no other program running. And it used all of my resources. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm slowly saving back up my money after getting the Switch to play Zelda. That took all of my money <laughs> that I had saved. But I'm slowly saving back up. I'll get a new computer hopefully within a few months. Oh. And there's two folks at Woodland Stable in Northeast Elden. Curious fair, very strange, or maybe a little off. They're looking for something the bubble frogs drop. They asked me to do the collecting. So did they ask you too? Oh. They offer treasure in exchange. Good treasure. It's a sweet deal. At least it would have been. But I don't know the first thing about cave creatures. Imagine Mr. Mr. Beast joins. Oh my god. Wouldn't that be a celebrity uh, a cameo? The treasure was awfully appealing, though. I'll go kill it. I ain't scared of no frogs. I am slightly scared of these, though. Eat shit. Huh? Eat shit. Oh, I understand. Ah! Ah! No! I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. It's raining. I can't catch them on fire. Why'd I do that? Die, weird sack like worm man. Yep. I haven't watched Mr. Beast since like 2016, 2017, or whatever, but my opinion of him has recently improved. So maybe I will. Maybe. I know he is literally the biggest YouTuber on, on the platform now. Like, bigger than T-Series. Like, not only is he the biggest, like, like, personality you, you channel, he is the biggest channel. Which is insane. Oh, that's actually great. A 14 damage bow? Bow designed for armed conflict. Inflicts more damage to civilian bow, but it'll still burn. Sick. I am a link and I'm digging a hole. Like when I watched Mr. Beast, he was doing like weird challenge things in like his college dorm or whatever. Like reading every word in the dictionary or uh, spinning a fidget spinner for 24 hours straight or counting to 100,000. Like that's when I watched Mr. Beast and that was like how he started. 
Content isn't really for me, but I do see the appeal. Yeah, same. Oh my god, it's a monkey. A weird extra dimensional monkey that can't swim. Get owned. Orblin Claw. I didn't read it. My completion. A talent obtained from a Horriblin. There we go. I don't like Mr. Beast anymore since one of his crew members changed gender. Actually, Mr. Beast defending... What's their name? Ryan? I don't know their name. Actually increased my respect for him. And made me like him. Omega based. Tireless frog. This rare fa frog prefers dark and moist places. Sick. Chris, Chris. See, you can tell how much I actually watch <laughs> the channel. Yeah, they came out by non as non-binary. The internet was extremely normal about it. And Mr. Beast backed up his friend. You know, as a good friend does. And in times like these, that's actually... more important than you'd think. What is this? A, what is this, Gerudo? Find a Gerudo chest? What in the world is this? Climbing gear. The ancient technology in this gear will make you a better climber. Special no-slip glove helps you use your energy more efficiently. Facilitate no, uh, nimble climbing. Finally, we found it. Although I like how the... I prefer the tunics of the depths in appearance, but the climb speed is too good. Sleeveless Link it is. Help, I'm stuck on a stick. Give me that shroom. There goes that frog. Mr. Beast's popular content is solely for money, so he can do stuff he actually likes, like philanthropy. That's the, that's the, uh, the vibe I get. People get mad at him a lot for stuff that doesn't really make sense, but, you know, people are normal, so. <laughs> Especially people on the internet. Famously normal. Known for getting mad about things that actually matter. <laughs> now, Mr. Beast is cool. Give me that. I'm climbing all over the way over there. Or do you think I am? Can I just yeet? God, is so good. Wait a minute. Back in the pit. I was hoping it would go somewhere else. <laughs> Yellow. Very green, actually. Hey, Freddy. How are you? This fine day. I haven't seen you in a minute. Hi, hello. Where is the entrance to the cave? Where'd I leave my horse? It's a long axe. Long, long axe. Okay, I made a water-powered vehicle and died a few later. In the game or in real life? If that's real life, that sucks. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry for that guy. Like, unironically, damn. That sucks. Pretty hyped right now. What for? What's got you hyped? IRL, well, damn. This looks suspicious. FNAF movie teaser trailer came out. Oh, yeah, that was like happening again, wasn't it? Uh, 
All right, you're obviously a Korok <laughs> thing. But what do you want? It was for oil businesses. A water-powered vehicle for oil businesses? Was it like an extractor? Or something? I'm gonna put this rock on it. Came out at 9 a.m. Glad to see that it's back on because I know it's been in development hell. I did it. I did it! Woo! I've heard of this story. I've not. Was it recent? <clears throat> like big news? I solved the problem. Also, these cliffs look like faces. Interesting. I made a water-powered car back in the 80s or something. Well, like a steam-powered car? Play the ocarina? I wish I could. All I can do is uh, whistle. I can I can whistle uh, ocarina noises though. I can't whistle that high. <laughs> Made a car that turned water to hydrogen and burned that. Damn, that's crazy. I was able to drive far distances with one gallon of water. That sounds like a like crazy tech. Otto, hey, I know you. Mm. Oh, Link. I heard that you and Princess Zelda had gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well. But where's Princess Zelda? She's dead, lol. Huh? I see. So Princess Zelda's whereabouts are still unknown, you say. Since that is the case, Link, I encourage you to go and speak with Lady Impa. Oh. She is right over there. Oh, I guess she isn't the leader of... Kakariko anymore. The invention went off, it could have defunded the oil tycoons of the world. And that's probably why he died, huh? <laughs> <clears throat> I believe she may have some useful information that relates to the search for Princess Zelda. <clears throat> Using only water to drive is crazy. Hydrogen is like a crazy power source, and it's basically the, the source of the future. Oh, hey, lizard. Is this? This isn't like a drawing because it's moving. Weird. Impa. So who's the leader of Kakariko then? What is it meant to depict? What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link. He went to a restaurant to meet with some investors. He was eating something with them and started choking. Huh, I wonder if, uh... wonder if they fed him some apple seed. What a surprise it is to see you here after all this time, Link. Impa, the Sheikah Elder. I heard you had gone missing. It is certainly a relief to see you back and in one piece, more or less. Hmm. And Princess Zelda, where is she? Dead, lol. Was, oh. I was poisoned. <laughs> Say that's a fair assessment. What? She still has yet to return. In that case, we must use all available means to search for her. Link, when Princess Zelda went missing, something else happened all over Hyrule. During the upheaval, huge pictures appeared out of nowhere. Images that sprawled across fields and hills. Oh. We are calling them geoglyphs. I understand that they have been found in locations across the kingdom. Like a week after his death, his prototype water car was stolen. Yeah, it's definitely sus. <laughs> it's definitely sus. Kado and I are traveling from region to region. In hopes of seeing them all. Yeah. I noticed this geoglyph from a distance while I was standing on high ground. 
examining it up close, could not make out what it depicted. I thought I might have a better view up in the sky. I took to the air and the balloon Pura gave me, but then, alas, the wind struck and completely sheared the balloon off the base. Theories of the oil tycoons had him assassinated and nobody talked about it. It's the first time I've heard about this, but it's, it is super sus. I've racked my brain for ways to reattach the two parts to no avail. Well, lucky for you, I got given God science. Watch out! There you go. I used my glue. I'm going to read your thing. Impa, the Sheikah Elder, former chief of the Sheikah who served the royal family of Hyrule for generations and is a living witness to its near extinction. Sometime after guiding Link through the Calamity, Impa made her granddaughter Paya. Paya is the chief, the new chief. Being over a century old hasn't stopped Impa from doing her part in the search for Princess Zelda. She's investigating the geoglyphs around Hyrule, certain they will provide clues to where the princess is. I fixed it. Oh, you fixed my balloon. Thank you, Ling. Will you come with me to look at the geoglyph then? Sure. Time to head out then. Oh, I nearly forgot. Would you mind doing one final thing for me? Light a fire there and the balloon will start to float. Then we can be on our way. We didn't start the fire. No, wait, what's the more, what's a more recent reference? How's the song go? This fire is out of control. I'll burn it. I'll burn it. Burn it. I'll burn it down. <laughs> How do you... How do you do the... Oh, like that, I guess. Uh... Oops. Uh, how do you... How do you set this out? You're, like, supposed to be able to, like... Take a torch out in front of you, aren't you? How do you do that? Hmm. It's interesting because the guy was completely forgotten, right? Bring the torch? Well, there's that, but there's like the way there's like supposed to be. A oh, when it's lit, you hold down the attack button. Gotcha. There you go. Like, I know you could just stick the fire out in front of you. Oh. Too high up. I feel faint. But finally, we can see it. The geoglyph. Well done, Link. You know, I read something in the village's old literature. A passage about what the ancients called Dragon's Tears. His name was Stanley Meyer. I might have to look into him. Where the tears rest upon the earth, we marked down the limages to which they gave birth. Oh. I believe this geoglyph is one such image. But even from this vantage, its meaning is no clearer to me. It is a Zonai coming for a high five. Hoppa! Nor can I figure out what dragon's tears might be. But you know, if the literature is correct, one of them should be quite close, near the geoglyph or even within its borders. Yeah. Would you look around? This could be the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. Oh. You'd like to examine the... Geoglyph from ground level, you can float down with a paraglider. No need to worry about me. I can manage a simple landing. Ah. <laughs> ah, I'm falling! Help! Owned. <laughs> And Impa and Link died. The Nick Crowley guy I talked about once. Talked about him in the conspiracies, conspiracies around it. I remember that name. That was close. Somehow I managed not to get hurt. Yeah. What a dragon's tear is, I can only guess. But it seems like such a thing can be 
found on the geoglyph. Would you try looking around? This could be the clue we need to discover Princess Zelda's whereabouts. You can do that? Hell yeah, you can. <laughs> this game is goofy with the things it'll let you do. I love it. Alright, I kind of already... I kind of already know what these are. Because I was... On launch day, I was watching someone play this game and... Uh, he ran into a certain thing. I have a question. Do you have Steam? I do have Steam. Do you have a Steam account? Indeed. That's how I used to stream. Yeah, this thing. The person I was watching play this... I saw this bit. Lawn mowing simulator. And ironically, I want to play that game because I lawn mow in real life. What's the rarest thing you've gotten in Zelda? Or in real life? I'm going to touch the pool of water. Ever. In real life, I'm assuming. Uh... I mean, technically, I provided, like, the first translation of a French account of the... of Napoleon. Or something. I don't remember exactly what it was. But I was the first person that translated that, so I suppose that was the rarest thing I've ever had. Can't speak French anymore, though, Omega Lol. Oh, hey, Zelda. I will shut up now. Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. Where am I? We didn't mean to startle you. I'm sorry. It's okay. My name is Sonia. And could we ask what your name is? I... I am the daughter of King Rome of Hyrule, Zelda. What an unexpected answer. <sighs> we are the king and queen who founded Hyrule, after all. Or at least we were the last time I checked. You two founded Hyrule? And you're the king? Mm. My name is Raru. King Raru of Hyrule. King Raru? And Queen Sonia? Huh? Well, that must mean... <laughs> I'm back in time! Chicken emoji. Nice. We're in Zelda land. That's a, that's a cuckoo emoji. Because I refuse to call it a cucko. Took me five years to know that Zelda was a girl, lol. I, when I first played Ocarina, I was like four or five, and I did the thing. I did the meme. I renamed, I named Link Zelda. <laughs> I did the thing. After disappearing into the depths under the castle, Zelda wakes up and meets two strangers who introduce themselves as, que as King Raru and Queen Sonia. She's left startled by a suspicion that she's heard those names before. No way. Yeah. I was like four or five. Oh. Link, you look distracted. What's wrong? And, um, Ocarina either just came out or we just got the money to afford it. But I was like, well, I... I'm just gonna name my character who the like what this game's supposed to be, and it's Legend of Zelda, so obviously I'm Zelda. What was your first video game? Um I played video games before I can literally remember. The first video game that I've played that I have an account from someone else of me playing, like they talked about it, was the original Warcraft RTS. Because um 
my mom woke up in the middle of the night one night to find out that I had figured out what their computer password was and was playing Warcraft, which was the game my dad was playing at the time. First video game that I remember was Mario Kart 64. Goodness, you say you had a vision. Saw mysterious figures. And then Princess Zelda. Hmm. The geoglyphs, the literature, the dragon's tears. And now a vision of the lost princess. What if these are all connected? Let us continue to examine the geoglyphs. They may contain further clues that lead to Princess Zelda. You know, according to the literature, there's something to do with the geoglyphs in the Forgotten Temple. The Forgotten Temple lies at the bottom of a canyon in Hebra. I think we should make our way there soon. I know what that is. I've never been there. But it's telling me to go, so that'll be a place that we go. What was your first console? Well, obviously the 64, as far as I can remember. But I also know that at some point, we got a Sega, the black one. And we had Sonic on it. But I don't know if we got it before or after the 64. What parade ground? Sick. Cool, yeah, it was also the first time I remember getting a spontaneous nosebleed was playing Sonic on that Genesis. I went in, uh, turned it on, started playing, and literally just blood started pouring out my nose. I kept playing. <laughs> I was like, huh, this is weird. Anyway, Sonic go fast. Gotta go fast. Ain't got time to bleed. How did that happen? Don't know. Spontaneous nosebleed. That's how it be sometimes. <gasps> well, well, well. What up? Any terrible creatures down here? Besides me? Come here, frog. How old were you when that happened? Um, between four and eight. But I don't know. I don't know precisely when. In the world is that thing? Oh, it's a barrel. 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 Aha! PewDiePie joke. Oops. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you were a gamer since you were born. I was born into a poor, but very technologically, um, a very, a very, uh, ga like game computer stuff type family. Before you were born, I mean. <laughs> 50 rupees, nice. My mother apparently competed in like speed running tournaments of like like super mario with like my uncle so you know gaming die give me those arrows well glad i solved that puzzle anyway It is actually getting... Do you ever have a PlayStation or Xbox had the originals of both? Had a PlayStation, a PlayStation 2, an Xbox, an Xbox 360, and then I was given an Xbox One in college. And... Yeah. It is getting late, though. I do need to head home. So I'm going to end the recording here. If you're watching this in the future, I'll see you tomorrow. Where's the haunts? There he is. He's a good boy. Let's hang out with Megamind before we go. Yeah. <laughs>